Hello there everybody and welcome back to another video. Today in this video we are going to be dis discussing the topic of who will be the next villain slash the name, next big bad villain in The Mandalorian. So first and foremost, there will be spoilers ahead for the last episode of The Mandalorian. If you haven't watched it, go watch it, it was done. Then come back and watch this video because this video will also be amazing. So come watch it and like, comment, subscribe. Okay, so now that you've had your spoiler warning, there will be spoilers ahead in this video. Um, so, yeah, if you're spoiled from now on, then it's not my fault, it's yours for not clicking off the video. Click off. So, first of all, so in the previous episode, Moff Gideon was captured. It's as simple as that, Mando beat Moff Gideon in a Darksaber fight, and I'm not surprised that Giancarlo Esposito broke three Darksaber props fighting the way that he was fighting so aggressively. But Mando beat him fairly simply in the end, to be honest. I did think that he might put up more of a fight. So basically, in this video, I want to discuss who I think, what will happen to him now, and if he's executed, potentially, by the New Republic, who could take over as the ro role of the new villain. Personally, I don't believe he'll be executed. I believe that he will be freed by Grand Admiral Thrawn. I think Thrawn is out there, I think he's with, he's like playing the role of the Emperor sort of in this situation, and we haven't seen him yet, and we're not going to be introduced to him until the third series. I'm surprised to be honest that at the end, that we didn't see him in this episode at some point contacting Moff Gideon. I'm surprised that we didn't, but I think he's just sort of lurking in the shadows, and now that Moff Gideon's been captured, I think he's going to come out of those shadows, and he'll want to retake over the Empire. So now, one option for how Grand Admiral Thrawn could play into this is that he could definitely want to break out and free Moff Gideon. Now, this would be a bold move because he'll probably be being held on Coruscant. Now, if he was to go to Coruscant and break him out, that would be quite a, quite a bold move of him, and there would probably be another battle over Coruscant. So it would be more likely that he'd have to hijack a new Republic like um freighter and then just go there and like sneak out and then try and free Moff Gideon. But I just don't I don't see that happening. I don't see Moff Gideon. I don't see him being broken out. I think he's either gonna have to break himself out and then fly away in a ship or that's just the end of Moff Gideon. But I don't think it will be the end that we see of him. I think we'll definitely definitely see him Season 3 is going to be dope with Moff Gideon going off. Moff Gideon probably breaking himself out slash being broken out of prison. Like, um, following Grogu's training with Luke. And that was amazing, seeing a younger Luke. But it's slightly depressing to see that he goes from being that Luke to Last Jedi Luke that just doesn't want to do anything. But, you know, it is what it is. As long as Filoni and Favreau do a good job, I'm not really that bothered about whatever Kathleen Kennedy made. So yeah, so to put it simply, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in a brand new video. Bye-bye.